Hi everyone, I am Bina, faculty of computer science at Silver Hills Public School, Kori Code. Today we will be discussing about one of the important topic in class 12, data structures in Python stack and queue. Last year we had studied about built-in data structure, application of built-in data structure, etc. This chapter is continuation of last year topic. Therefore, it is very easy to study the concept of stack and queue. Now we will move on to the chapter. Okay. Data structures in Python is mainly divided into built-in data structure and compound data structure. And this built-in data structure again divided into list, tuple, set and dictionaries. This part we had covered in last year. Therefore, we will move on to next section that is compound data structure which are again divided into two nonlinear data structure and linear data structure. This year class 12 syllabus is mainly oriented to stack and queue therefore today we will be discussing about these two that is stack and queue. Now my session is divided into two parts in first part we will be discussing about the compound data structure which comes under linear that is stack and the next session that is in part 2 we will be discussing about the Q data structure. Now let us see what is a data structure. Now we will move through two scenarios. In first scenario I want to store marks of first five row numbers in my class. Which data structure is suitable for that? Obviously, we will go for list. List is very easy to maintain. List can grow in size and string in size. And list can be processed by using indices like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, list is a best data structure for maintaining consecutive numbers. Then we can use list for storing the details of first five students in our class. And just to go through the scenario 2. I want to store marks of any 10 students details of my class. Which data structure is apt for that? Obviously, it is dictionary. Dictionary is key value pair. Therefore, we can store the any random numbers or whatever it is, we can store the details easily. And one more question is there. I want to store the details of all the students in my class permanently in a storage device, what I can do? Yes, we had studied about the concept of files, text file, binary files and CSV files. By using this concept, we can store the details. Therefore, what is a data structure? A data structure is a named group of different data types processed as a single unit. It is having operations, behavior and certain properties. I think this concept of data structure is clear to you. Now we will move to the concept stack. Okay, Just to go through the diagram, we can see three pictures here. First picture shows stack of book and the second picture shows pile of plates and third shows stack of chairs. What is the speciality in this diagram? Now suppose I want to add one more book, what I can do? I have to keep the book at the top of this. Can I insert one plate in between this? That is not possible. Okay, if I want to insert a plate in between, I have to move two or three plates and then I have to insert it. Similarly, in the case of chair also, if I want to insert a chair, I have to insert it at the top. Okay. Now, what we can understand from this diagram, that is, a stack is a data structure where the insertion is possible at the top and deletion is also possible from the top. Now, let us see what is stack. A stack is a linear data structure which follows last in first out manner or we can call it as first in last out manner. In a stack, 
new elements are added at the top of the stack therefore that operation is known as push operation and the elements are deleted from the top of the stack and that operation is known as pop operation. Now just to watch this animation then it is clear to you what is the concept of stack. Okay. Now one element added to the stack. Now this element is placed at the top. Now I added one more element that is 20. Now 20 is at place indices 1 and now it is at the top. Now I added one more element. Now the index is 2. Now the, that element becomes the top. This way the process continues. 100 is added. It is at the top. Now one more element added that is 120 that will become the top of the stack. Okay. That means if I want to delete this element then the 100 will become the topmost element. If I delete 100 then 50 will become the topmost element. This operation is known as push operation and pop operation in a stack. This animation demonstrates the pop operation. I deleted the top element. Now 100 will become the topmost element. Now let us see how we can implement this in Python program. Now let us see the implementation of stack using a list. We had studied about list in class 11. List is a data, built in data structure by using this list concept we can implement stack very easily. Okay. Before going to the, that session, first we have to discuss about basic operations that can be performed in a stack. The basic operations are first we have to create the stack. Then we have to study how to e insert an element inside a stack. Then we, will, we have to study about the pop operation that is deleting element from a stack and how to display all the elements in a stack. Okay. Now we, we will move on to stack creation. How we can create a stack by using a list. Okay. It is so easy. In order to create a stack using list, what we can do is we can write object is equal to by using a square bracket. An empty list is created. Uh, one more command is there that is by using the list method. Here ST is an object and list is a method which is used for creating a empty list. Okay. Now just watch this animation. The stack already consists of six elements and the indexes are 10 is at position 0, 60 is at position 1, 50 at position 2, 25 at position 3, then 10 at position 4 and 100 is at position 5. These are called indices. Okay. Now I want to add one more item to the stack. Okay. Now let us see the operation. One more item added to the stack. Now that element will be at position 6 and it will be at the top of the stack. This way we can add element to the stack. Now, which method or which built-in function can be used for adding element to the stack? Obviously, it is append method. Okay. Now, let us see how we can append data item to the stack. Okay. okay. Now, let us see how we can implement push operation by using Python. Okay. Now, for that, we can have a code like this. We can have a function def push function in that we can use one append method or append function to insert an element. That is you can ask for enter a number with this append method itself then you can add it with the stack. The append method will add item to the end of the stack or end of the list. Therefore, we can directly use that command for adding element at the top of a list or a stack. Okay, those who are finding difficulty with this command, what you can do is you can have n is equal to int of input enter element, then you can use stack dot append of n, that's all. Now, let us see how we can implement this push function in our program. 
For that we have to write a main program and in that you can call push function. Then if you want you can print stack and next line you can ask for whether you want to continue the program or not. If your choice is no then it will exit from the program otherwise this while loop will continue again and again until you enter the value n. Okay, that is all about push operation. Now we will move on to pop operation. As I said earlier, pop operation is used for deleting element from a stack and deletion take place from the top itself. Before moving into the program, we will see what is pop operation. Again, this animation shows there are 6 elements inside the stack with the indices 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and I want to delete the topmost element from the stack. Now let us see what is happening. De the element 100 is deleted and the element at place 4 will become the top element. Okay. If I am deleting 10 then 25 will become the topmost element. The process will continue like that. Now let us see how we can implement this code in python. Again we have one function pop function which is used for deleting element from a stack. Now before deleting we have to check whether there is any element inside the stack. If the list or stack is not having any element thus that causes a situation that is deletion is not possible or underflow. Okay. That is why I have checked length of the stack whether it is equal to 0 or not. If it is 0 then we can print the message print underflow deletion is not possible. Otherwise we can pop out an element from the stack and the built in function used is there is a built in fun function available with the stack that we have studied last year that is pop function which removes the last element of a list. Same function can be used here stack dot pop. That is all about the pop function of stack. So simple. Okay. Now we will move on to stack traversal. Traversal means visiting each element of a list. It can be for processing or just for displaying the data element. Okay. Now this shows the stack or the list element starting from indices 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or we can arrange the stack like this. The topmost element is 100, 70, 25, 50, 60 and 10. These are the two views either horizontally or vertically you can view that. Then how to print the data elements of the stack from top starting from the top itself that is we have to print the elements like this 100, 70, 25, 50, 60 and 10. For doing that what we can do is now let us see how we can display the elements of a stack. Okay. In order to display the elements of a stack first we have to find the length of the stack then you can have a for loop you know how to use for loop for i in range of length comma minus 1 comma minus 1 where the le length indicate that is l indicate length of the stack until we reach 0th position that is 0 index and the decrement value or updation statement given is minus 1 ok. Then print stack of i means l is having the in the index of topmost number that number will be displayed first followed by the second number then followed by the third number and so on. Okay. That is about the display function of stack. Now we will see how we can write the entire program that is how we can implement the stack how we can write the entire program. Okay. This all we studied now itself. This is also a uh, revision. Now, first you can write stack creation. In order to create a stack, you can have stack is equal to square bracket. Then you can write push function where you can write the code like this, what we had studied earlier. Then we can have pop function where you can find where you can find the length of the stack. Then 
you can have the appropriate message if the length of the stack is zero deletion is not possible then you can have the display function after that you can have the main program where you can write as options like push pop and display you can enter your option according to the option for example option is equal to 1 you can call push function if option is equal to 2 then you can call or invoke pop function and if option is 3 that is for displaying the elements of a stack then you can invoke display function other than these choices then you can give the message it is a wrong input then you can ask for whether you want to continue the operation or not if it is yes the while loop will continue again and again if your choice is no there is a break then you can stop the program okay that is about stack and the app next one is about the application of stack now in almost all cases we are using stack in programming world nowadays we are using stack the applications are like this browsing internet for information retrieval for example i want to know what is a stack i can search or google it i can open a site then i can open another site again for example jigs for jig python.org site something like that then I, again i can move back by pressing back button then i will be move back to the second one third one fourth one like that okay that can be implemented by using stack similarly evaluating expression for example like a plus b into a minus b there also we are using stack for that is in computer programming we are using stack for evaluating expressions and reversing a string that no that is known as palindrome for example malayalam malayalam is a palindrome word you know how to find reverse of a string there also we can use the application of stack and another important point is undo mechanism in text editors we are you pressing control z for undo same thing can be used by using stack operation we reached at the end of the session i hope the concept of stack is clear to you thank you